How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to How to Win an Interstellar War by In a Nutshell. Alright, so I know that I missed a couple of uh, videos from In a Nutshell, you know, but one was like over an hour long and I don't know if I'm I'm up to react to that one, you know? <laughs> and the other one was, it wasn't about space or like your human body or anything, so I wasn't that invested in it and then it just kind of like bulldozed over with everything else I needed to react to, you know? So like, didn't quite get to that one, but I might in the past, but who knows, you know? The future is full of uncertainty, but like onto this, man, I'm just so excited for this because like, one, like I kind of stumbled across before, you know, like it, it has to do with space, man, and like, not just space, but like the fact that like, okay, well, we're obviously not alone in the universe. Like we're at an interstellar war for crying out loud, you know? So like all of that to like everything that accumulates with that, you know, like the positive and the ne negative aspects of it, you know, like I, I just want to explore it all, man. And in a nutshell, I know like they're going to deliver, man. They always deliver. So I'm really, really excited to get this going. So without any further ado, here is how to win an interstellar war. Be prepared to make contact. Okay. Our new limited oh, drop it's an has ad. Landed, <laughs> only on the Kurtzkazant shop. That is beautiful. Could aliens destroy us from light years away? Maybe. <laughs> Another day at the Kurtzkazant labs. That is true, the man. Important questions like some of the questions science. they come up with. Today, how something might I'd never think about. Wage war Whoa. across light years. What kind of devastating weapons could they use? And what would they look like? That's all plans. great questions. A I would love to have answered. System, home to a species I was going to say that looked like Ash. Humans, Who's that Pokemon? Recently became a technological civilization. They Very recently, rockets, actually. Nuclear and like, the, and me. this is fine. How cute. In the grand scheme of things, you know. Disagree. They reside on a planet Maybe? I don't know. Disagree with humans? Star HD 40307, 42 light years away. Oh, Smorpion civilization. All things considered, that's not humans, that far. And they have much better technology. They've recently that's pretty Dyson cool, man. Around their star, which Imagine like 3D them printing your food. Energy. And they noticed humanity, which is unfortunate as the Smorpions are planning a hyperspace bypass through our solar system. Rude. So they decided that humanity has to go. Interstellar war Does an ant have Corey with a boot? Front lines, tactics, and logistics are meaningless at these scales. It's also fought across time. Decades will pass between oh, firing that's... a weapon and learning I mean, obviously, but I didn't even consider the time part of it. Futile. Like they could the literally train generations to fight flight, us. We had no idea. Would take decades or even centuries, and humans would have plenty of time to prepare. Yeah, but if I'm you thinking of the other way. About the mind-numbing problem of war between alien civilizations, we made a video about it. And it is glorious. Today, We'll Venom? help the Smorpions construct a weapon that is not only extremely long range and as fast as physically possible, extremely but that will long totally range. destroy everything on Earth. So oh. no human survivors will come to enact vengeance on Smorp in the future. In interesting, can they? <laughs> you want to win with one shot. We don't Our have light speed. Have found three Smorpion designs: the Star Laser, oh. the Relativistic Missile, They're and cool. the Ultra Relativistic Electron Beam. So you just mash the first two together. The humans are using in some form already. Let's okay. see how they work. Is that just a laser? The star laser. It As is. An advanced technological civilization. The Smorpions harness the energy of their star by surrounding Dude, it's it like with a billions of solar video power game satellites. in the background or something. That's really cool. This Dyson swarm collects one percent of the star's oh. energy output. A million, billion, billion watts. <laughs> Fifty billion times more than all humanity. No, no, no! I got it. Oh what my god, the man. The Dyson swarm. Thank you for adding Those that scale, though. That's, I still can't comprehend laser. it, but... Like any laser, the bigger it is, the you longer its range. About that as well Human in the previous video. lasers use small mirrors to focus, okay. so they have short ranges. The Smorpions could turn their entire Dyson swarm like into a collective focusing element a million kilometers wide. The star laser has an insane range as a result. Sure. Enough to focus on it's target like the Earth Death Star. for a distance Quite literally. of 2 million light years. Okay, okay, maybe let's not. Shoot it. Death Star's not that powerful. Countless tiny beams combine into a single huge beam. Laser beams are normally invisible in space, but the star laser is so powerful that light scattering off bits of dust and gas Aww. in its path makes it clearly visible in the sky. <laughs> Makes your Star Wars is real. <laughs> green light. The laser travels at the speed of light, which oh, that is glorious. Is slow not for us. But level. It for takes them. a whole day glorious. until the laser has left the Smorpion system. Shooting into the emptiness between stars. Hi, Alf. It will travel. I haven't seen decades, you in a bit. And Boba. melting the odd bit of interstellar dust or asteroid. Forty-two years That's after no being moon. fired, it arrives without. How moving. long? Humans only notice a weird green glow in the sky, and then 
They're gone. Oh. One percent of the energy of a star concentrated into a instant. beam the diameter of Earth, traveling 42 light years. It burns the exposed half of the planet. Oh, and they put the scale, the, the scale aspect of it, man. It just blows my mind every time. Fires oh. scour the land, and within minutes, Earth's crust begins to melt into a sea of lava. Yeah. As the planet rotates, it turns into a red hot hell with no trace of life. Oh. After a day, it's all over, and the laser dies down. God, In another four just... years, the Smorpions will know if they've been successful. <laughs> That's your hate for war. Yay. When you attack, your grandchildren will be that the Dragon ones Ball. To find that was a Dragon Ball. It's like all the bombs from World That's War II. That's like I was saying at the very the beginning, 80s, man. And us and our are gang. seeing the effect today. Okay. The star laser's extreme range, speed of light attack, and ability to melt And then we have like two more after this. This one alone is pretty weapon. solid, dude. But is there something else? You're going to tell me. The relativistic missile. I mean, as far as names instead of go, converting man. the energy of their Dyson swarm into a laser, the Smorpions used it Perry to shoot saw a that was productive. a relativistic missile, going as close to the speed of light as possible. This sort of weapon is at the limits of what the Smorpions' technology can handle, as it requires loads That's of a highly still amazing. dangerous material, antimatter, oh. the evil twin of regular matter. Humans have only managed you to produce antimatter to anything, man. It makes it special. With their unlimited energy, Smorpions can manufacture oh. it at an industrial scale to build I can see that. rockets. When antimatter and matter are mixed, I thought it was just going to be one, which in more practical like terms a really means big one. there's a big, big boom oh. releasing gamma rays. It's like and Steven plasma. Universe. The physics is complicated, but basically, if you have a really strong magnetic field, you can deflect the plasma through a nozzle, just like in the chemical that rockets. That is smart, humans though. Use. But it would be much, Magnets much be faster. strong. The fastest rocket possibly, basically. Oh. Our relativistic missile oh is much God. bigger than a skyscraper. Yeah. At the bottom is the bell sure shaped buildings for a second. Model, 100 meters wide. On top of it are 250 floors filled with antimatter and matter ready to annihilate each other. On the top floor yeah. is a 300 kilogram it's projectile go pretty big quite distance. small, about the size of a person. Oh. To stop them getting damaged, like that's on the, the thing way, we gotta worry the missiles about. have dozens of sacrificial well, legs my size, that but... <laughs> form a whipple shield. To make sure they do their job, the Smorpions build 1,000 missiles. Let's fire them. Just a thousand? Launching all the relativistic missiles is a spectacular event. For a moment, the antimatter engines lighting up outside Whoa. their star. Their exhaust is a long trail of brilliant white, and as they accelerate away, they appear redder and redder until they turn invisible. That would be pretty cool to see, though. Like, all things considered, yeah, it's like the going into war, but... That, that's pretty... Oh, so close. Of <laughs> they have effectively infinite range, as there's nothing really yeah. to slow them down. <laughs> they arrive shortly after you can see Let's them. Let's go, Buzz. The light from their launch will take 42 years to reach Earth. So, oh, all things considered, that's not flash of the terrible. Launch, and then a few days later, they'll hit. Not enough time to prepare. I love that reference, man. Each relative the previous video packs the kinetic energy to kind of stop the nuclear war. killer asteroid. So this is interstellar. Only one needs to hit. They never reach the ground, disintegrating instead at the edge of Earth's atmosphere. Oh, intense blue flashes that would also be pretty to see on fire. Then, but not the witness. Fireballs slam down on the surface to smash everything into dust. Oh, everything's just vaporized until nothing is left but rubble and smoke. Got so, it. interstellar missiles with unlimited range, minimal warning, and delivering complete destruction of a planet's surface. Nice. What's the last one? But they are a hassle to build. Uh, it seemed that way, yeah. Else, maybe? The ultra relativistic electron. Frieza thing. needs to calm down. I mean, if it was Frieza, he'd just do like their freaking supernova. Bacteria and make it safe to eat, like shooting electron beams at strawberries. Okay. Small particle accelerators send electrons into the food with I know energy about similar to the radiation from nuclear reactions. Not enough to burn the food, but deadly to bacteria. Smorpions had the same idea, Whoa. but bigger. <laughs> the main challenge with an That's electron a big beam bearing. is range. Electrons are negatively charged particles, so they don't want to stay near each other. Yeah. A regular electron That's beam like elementary will science. out, making it harmless. Smorpions need it to cover distances of dozens of light years. So they've used the rules of the universe to trick the electrons by building an ultra is that just a focus laser pointer or ureb what oh, it does okay. is accelerate the electrons to 99.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
faster than even the most powerful Dude, cosmic that rays. is ridiculous. I can't comprehend that. I'm pretty sure y'all can't either. It, relative to the and rest Garfield. of the universe. Topical. And since these electrons are moving so incredibly that is, fast, that is for every second of bananas spinning they experience on the over five so, I'm million I'm years past I'm gonna keep going, time, bananas. A physics trick that lets the beam cross interstellar distances while remaining tightly focused on its target. Dude, that the biggest part of its cool. on Earth <laughs> is 27 kilometers long. It just boils down to it, man. Science is amazing. One that's over 100,000 kilometers long, a megastructure eight times longer than Earth is wide. Cool. It's mostly a tube of magnets holding the beam together Reminds until me of the a exit, fly. like a long trumpet of doom surrounded by an aura of the trumpet of radiation. Doom. <laughs> when it's fired, it produces a ruler straight lightning bolt pointed at Earth. Its effects on arrival are less visible than the other weapons. No flashes of oh, light. Oh, that's scary. No massive firestorms. Just no an invisible explosions. threat, literally. It doesn't destroy rocks. It destroys DNA. People get dizzy, then fall sick as their cells are pierced by radiation. Why is you this worse? This is worse than humans, just a giant blast. No, the Europe is so penetrating that its effects accumulate to lethal doses even underground over oh days or weeks. In Music really end, adds to it too. Like this is what I was going to say before they just drop dead. Becomes sterile. Simulation results. What does that mean? Mm. Like I know what Another it means, but gross. Animated science explainer by Kurtz. Why did you use where sterile? We've a lot. Oh, <laughs> not sure exactly what. Bravo. Luckily, the it was just a play. The don't really exist, but others might. One that is true. Like, we don't know what's out there. That's the really, like cool yet scary for me, you know. Which Ooh. is not ideal because you don't want to present yourself as a dangerous species and tell hey, everybody oh. where exactly you are. So Why are they be shooting instead stuff? Of shouting or shooting out into the universe, the best course of action seems to be to stay relatively quiet for now and observe. I maybe yeah. one day we'll witness distant stars S shooting as far at each as like other, a safe bet goes. We stayed out of it. That's but fair. we don't have to stay out of intergalactic <laughs> fun. There's a peaceful way to join Type 2 civilizations oh, on their galactic it. adventures. Look, it's the Galactic Club, a cozy oh, corner in the vast universe. I might actually have to get a t-shirt. Quirky folk like you. I'm liking that Come Cthulhu looking one. Worry. We've got Overlord. everything you need to fit right in. It's all part oh, of our latest it. limited drop. I don't know, they're all pretty cool. friends with kindness and impress them with these colorful patches and sweaters. Man, they got like Wear the these best new merch. iconic t-shirts that represent your love of stargazing and show allegiance to our ultimate overlord deck. And okay. the star of the show. I am way ahead of you with that. <laughs> to wrap yourself and you your brainwashed me. Buddies yeah. in. Maybe the coolest thing we've ever created. Yeah. Definitely the largest. Like that is with amazing. our last limited drop, these I items are available merch, now man. It's just something like so special. Then, like they actually again. care for it, you know. Yeah, them up with the 12,024 calendar. I was going to talk about the calendar. <laughs> to have a beautiful daily reminder of potential alien civilizations. And the posters, and man. The posters a way go to make hard. plans with all your new pals. All of our products are designed and produced with love and care by us here at Cotsuzat. You can tell. They are an integral part of the science story. I actually have to order a shirt like right so now. <laughs> start your journey on our I'm actually ahead of the game with this video. With our posters, calendars, and plushes. Every purchase directly funds what we do on this channel. Thank you so much for your support. Aww. Thank you Join for making. The Galactic I will Club always now. say that. Overlord Dunk is waiting. Okay, and I he sleeps right next to me. <laughs> Alright man, that was just, that was so good, like, everything I wanted in a Chris to get video, you know, like, it's talking about space and, like, everything, yeah, but, like, the other factor of it, it's, it's, like, borderline science fiction, you know, to where it's, like, okay, we know that this is, like, quote-unquote possible, you know, but so, like, let's, like, make these, like, pretty much instruments of destruction, you know, like, for war, like, in, like, what the freaking title is talking about, like, interstellar war, you know, like, it's just so freaking crazy, and it's, I don't know, like, all in all, man, it just gets me so freaking giddy, so freaking, like, just, I don't know, like, I keep talking about that, like, at the end of, like, all these Kurt's Get videos, I always get like this, man, like, where I can't stop talking, I just babble about nothingness, at least for my end, that's what it seems like, you know, but, like, all in all, man, fantastic like i cannot get enough of their animations man and like like i keep saying like the new ones they just keep escalating that feeling you know like that that giddiness i feel every time they like talk about a topic and i'm like and that's another thing that they keep doing like flawlessly i might add man is just like the fact that they take a topic that i never would have thought about like this one kind of think about it a little more than all the other ones mind you but like it still has that like same factor of like okay well what, what if like it just boils down to that man just what if and like they try to answer it as best they can like even though it is like borderline science fiction like i said before you know but like it's it's so enjoyable it's so entertaining and like like 
like just it all boils down to that you know like you want to be entertained when you're watching one of their videos but you also want to be informed and like you get the best of both both worlds within a nutshell you know it's just it's really really awesome <laughs> like like of a better word they're freaking awesome so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days